Good morning. Let us study today kinetics of photochemical reaction between hydrogen and bromine. The reaction between hydrogen and bromine takes place in the presence of light to give 2 HBr gas. The overall photochemical reaction is this. From experimental studies, five-step mechanism is proposed, is suggested. In this bromine, in the presence of light, dissociated to give two bromine atoms, highly unstable, highly reactive bromine atoms. In the next step, bromine reacts with the hydrogen to give HBr plus hydrogen atom. This is again highly unstable. So, it reacts with the, it, the, it immediately, it is formed immediately, reacts with the Br2, another reactant to give HBr plus Br. And this H is so reactive, so it reacts with the HBr. The bond between HBr is weak. Whereas, in the case of um, hydrogen plus chlorine, this step does not occur. Remember, please remember, in photochemical reaction between hydrogen and chlorine, this step does not occur. We will also compare in the next slide. Okay, this bond is weak, so hydrogen attacks HBr to give back the product H2 plus Br and then Br collides with the another Br at the walls to give Br2. The interesting thing is that the mechanism of uh, thermal reaction as well as photochemical reaction are the same. The mechanism except heat is absorbed in light, light is absorbed to light is absorbed to dissociate bromine and bromine atom. In thermal reaction, step 2 occurs due to absorption of heat. In thermal reaction, heat is absorbed, thereby bromine atom dissociates to give bromine, we are to dissociate to give bromine atoms. Okay. Therefore, the mechanism of, the mechanisms of both thermal and photochemical reactions are same. So, the rate law is also same. In the last class, we have studied the photochemical reaction between hydrogen and the chlorine. Okay. In this class, we are studying the photochemical reaction between hydrogen and the bromine. If you compare the two mechanisms, you see this hydrogen hydrogen atom reacts with the HBr. Here the hydrogen atom does not react with the HBr. So because H, HBr bond is weak as I said. Here HBr bond is strong therefore the reaction does not occur. If you look at if you look at the quantum yield for the for this photochemical reaction, the quantum yield is much less than 1, equal to 0 0.01. Whereas, the quantum yield for this photochemical reaction is very much greater than 1, that is 10 power 6. For one photon of light absorbed, 10 power 6 molecules reacted. Okay, that is the definition of quantum yield. Why this? What are the reasons? Both are chain reactions. Please remember, both are chain reactions. However, step 2 is endothermic. This reaction is endothermic. Whereas, in photochemical reaction between hydrogen and chlorine, step 2 is exothermic. So, the heat is released to activate further reactant molecules whereas the heat is absorbed thereby the, the molecules are 
inactivated or deactivated so step 2 is exothermic therefore the quantum yield is very very high okay let us derive the rate law for the formation of hbr in the photochemical reaction hbr is formed i have given mechanism according to this mechanism hbr we are deriving the rate law for the formation of hbr therefore hbr formation occurs in step 2 hbr formation occurs in step 3 whereas hbr is consumed is reacted in step 4 okay so the rate of formation of hbr the rate of formation of hbr d hbr divided by dt equal to hbr formation is represented by plus hbr decomposition is minus therefore k2 concentration of br concentration of h2 plus k3 concentration of hydrogen concentration of br2 minus k4 because the decomposition in step 4 hydrogen hbr is decomposed therefore minus concentration k4 concentration of hydrogen concentration of hbr okay in competitive exams in various competitive exams gate csr etc the mechanism they will give they will ask you to derive the rate law then what is the order of the reaction etc so please remember this is in ug syllabus but this is also important for uh, gate csr and any other competitive exams see this is the rate law the constant in this equation 1 the concentrations of hydrogen and the bromine h2 br are very stable molecules they are known their concentrations can be determined however the concentrations of bromine atom hydrogen atoms they are very unstable transient species they cannot be determined by uh, experimental method okay however their concentrations can be determined by applying steady state approximation method the concentrations of unstable transient species can be determined by steady state method we have already discussed what is the principle of steady state approximation method please watch the steady state method in chemical kinetics now let us see how the concentrations of hydrogen and br are determined so that the rate law can be derived can be obtained the concentrate the 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 hydrogen atoms and bromine atoms are unstable so they are formed and immediately reacted you see they are formed and immediately reacted so according to steady state approximation method the rate of formation of bromine is equal to rate of decomposition because it is formed and immediately decomposed therefore rate of formation of br equal to rate of decomposition of br bromine atom therefore r of br minus equal to 0 in this mechanism bromine are formed in step 1 and step 3 and step 4 and then bromine are consumed in step 2 and step 5 therefore for rate of formation of um, bromine atom plus rate of decomposition of br atom minus okay Minus sign. It is uh, minus sign. So therefore, K one, the rate of formation of um, bromine atom in step one. Therefore, K one B K one I A intensity. H new means intensity of light absorbed into B R two zero minus. See B R two zero minus. Since photochemical reactions are invariably zero order reactions, as no activation energy is involved. according to uh, it won't follow collision theory therefore no activation energy is involved therefore br to the power 0 br to the power 0 equal to 1 therefore k1 ia then plus k3 bromine atom is formed k3 concentration of hydrogen atom concentration of br2 and then k4 
concentration of hydrogen concentration of hbr and next bromine are consumed in step 2 and 5 therefore minus decomposed minus k2 concentration of br atom bromine atom concentration of h2 minus k5 concentration of bromine whole square equal to 0 because this is equal to 0 rate of formation minus rate of decomposition equal to 0 to okay now ia equal to intensity of light absorbed so we can apply steady state approximation for hydrogen atom also similarly let us apply steady state approximation for hydrogen atom because hydrogen atoms are also unstable transient species they are formed immediately decomposed therefore rate of formation of hydrogen atom is equal to rate of decomposition of hydrogen atom that is r of concentration of h minus r d on equal to 0 here hydrogen atom is formed in step 2 only and h hydrogen atom are consumed in step hydrogen atoms are consumed in step 3 and step 4 therefore k2 formation plus therefore k2 concentration of br atom concentration of h2 minus okay minus step 3 minus k3 concentration of hydrogen atom concentration of br br2 minus because hydrogen atom is consumed is reacted not formed therefore k minus k4 concentration of hydrogen atom concentration of hbr equal to 0 this equation is called 3 now let us add equation 2 and 3 add equation this is 3 in the previous slide we have equation 2 let us add 2 and 3 we have time the then uh, you will get the terms gets cancelled it is simplified k1 ia minus k5 concentration of br whole square equal to 0 therefore the concentration of br is obtained now we have obtained the concentration of br okay similarly let us be obtain the concentration of hydrogen atom in the next slide on rearranging the equation 3 from equation 3 we get this equal to uh, because hydrogen is common let us take it out therefore the concentration of hydrogen equal to k2 concentration of bromine atom concentration of hydrogen divided by k3 br2 plus k4 hbr concentration of hbr now let us substitute um bromine concentration bromine atom concentration in this so we have obtained concentration of bromine atom concentration of hydrogen atom let us now substitute the concentrations of bromine atom concentration of hydrogen atom in equation 1 the rate of formation of hbr after rearranging and simplification we obtain this please um, try to uh, derive in your notebook the rate of formation of hbr equal to 2k2 and then whole bracket k1 by k5 ia to the power 1 by 2 concentration of h2 then 1 plus this k4 concentration of hbr divided by k3 concentration of br2 this equation is called the rate law for the formation of hbr for both the thermal and the photochemical reactions since the mechanism for photochemical reactions and thermal reactions are same this equation is obtained for both photochemical and thermal reactions the rate is directly proportional to square root of ia and also the rate of hbr formation is first order with respect to h2 concentration because one okay so they in the competitive exam they will give you the mechanism and they will ask you to derive the rate law four options will be given you will have to select the correct option and they will ask what is the order of the reaction what is the dependence of um, here in hydrogen and chlorine reaction it is the rate of formation of hcl is directly proportional to ia here 1 by 2 so the quantum yield is decreased because as i said 
it is uh, the step 2 is endothermic endothermic although both are uh, chain reactions thank you for watching